Okay, here is another question, Bishops. We here's a question from someone calling themselves afraid to be betrayed. All right. The question is: Lately, I've been feeling the need to open up to others and share my thoughts, feelings, and experiences. However, there's a lingering fear inside of me, the fear of being betrayed. I'm scared that if I let people into my world, they might take advantage of my vulnerability or use some secret things that they know about me against me. This fear has kept me guarded, making it very difficult for me to truly connect with others on a deeper level. How can I overcome this fear of betrayal and find the courage to open up and trust other people? Wow, that's an excellent question, Dr. Owens. And they signed it anonymous. Yeah. Yes. Listen, anonymous number one. Let me let me speak to you. You have well, to learn. This person called themselves afraid to be betrayed. Okay, afraid. Now, amen. Dear fearful one, listen. In life, you have to learn how to turn your pain into experience. Now, you have been bitten. Now that bite can either kill you, or you can get in, or you can be vaccinated by it. You know how they do with the flu? No, but they, they give you a little bit of it, so you build up resistance. If you have ever been betrayed, don't die. Don't get to the point where you don't trust nobody. You just learn how to trust. You learn how to measure it out. You learn how to let people earn it. You learn how to, as your old folks say, sleep with one eye open and one eye closed. You say, I've been burned one time. I'm not going to be burned again. Now, I'm not going to stop living. I'm, 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 I'm not going to retreat to that cave, glory to God, of giving up on life. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pain. I'm going to take it into experience. And I'm going to be better for what I have been through. There are, there are people, there are, I don't know why I want to keep getting on the sisterhood. There are women that men have betrayed them, walk on them, and done all crazy things uh, to them and broken them and so forth. Honey, you don't sit up here and die. You learn from it. You learn and say, listen, the next time, if God permit love to come back around the next time, I'll be wiser with it the next time. And I'll let everybody, and particularly that brother, know, listen, some stuff I don't put up with. Lord have mercy. If you really are con uh, concerned with me or, or serious about me, you have better get rid of everybody in your life. If I even sense that there's somebody else in your life, there ain't no conversation. You gone. I've turned my pain into experience. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen, Bishop. That is so good. So, so to that person, whoever this is, the afraid person, if you don't trust anyone, then you're safe. You're right. If you don't trust nobody, you don't have to worry about nobody hurting you because you don't trust anybody. However, you're going to stay alone. But if you allow yourself to get out there and trust people, everybody is not going to betray you. And you'll have some friends to help you for those that do betray you. You have help. So I've got to learn how to trust somebody's because I'm going to need somebody to help me through that time. But if you stay to yourself, you don't have no friends, there's nobody to help you during those vulnerable times. The reason that betrayal is so difficult, again, is because, uh, as I heard, it's a punch that you don't see coming. That's it. They hit you, you don't, you don't have a betrayal of somebody you trust, so you have no idea they're getting ready to punch you. It's kind of like you wasn't aware of it. They threw that, and you got to get over the sting of it. So, whoa, boy, that hurts. But you got to, like a good fighter, you got to be able to be hit hard. The sting is there, but you got to be able to shake it out and keep on living life. Get ready for the next round. So, it's... We're not saying it's painful, it's not harmful, but you can't blame everybody. You can't feel like because one situation happened to me in life, I'm just going to give in and I'm going to have, I'm going to look, th look, I'm going to think ill towards everybody. There's no good people. There ain't everybody going to betray. No, there are some good folks in life right. that will not betray you. They're going to stick with you to the end. You just ain't found the right ones, but they are out there. Are out and there. you're going to need those kind of people.